What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 74 <laughs> of the Average AF Podcast. I, I am you. your stuttering host, Adam McElroy. Every time. And this is the laughing douchebag, Mr. Ryan Baker. Uh, laughing, yes, <laughs> douchebag, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Hi. We do. Hey! Hey, you should have hit the wrong one. <laughs> no. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> oh, oh, that's the right one. <laughs> I like the it. wrong one. All right, so, uh, yeah, and obviously we are joined by our producer again, Mr. Justin Smith. Uh, How you guys doing? AKA the voice of God. They may or may not see it, but um, I shot some proof yeah. that he's not dead, like we said on the last episode. So. Oh, there yeah. you go, there you go. Yeah, I came in came in hot came under in under the lights. It we was unleashed uh, him out of the cage. It was weird. Yeah. Um, you didn't not, like it? Nope. Yeah. Not so gonna not gonna there. see me under there. I'll I'll do my own stuff on the phone, but uh okay. yep. I'm not gonna be over there. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's yeah. good. Uh, he but, got him. poof. Uh, I did want to say thank you guys for all of the feedback with the Time Magazine thing and the we New York Times. Um, by now, you should know it's fake. <laughs> but <laughs> It was a hoax. You know, uh, some people are still congratulating us, which is cool. and We appreciate it. Appreciate and we you. Wish, and we hope it, it's future dreams right there. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> that just means Adam's really good at what he does. I mean, I did. I like. I thought more people were gonna laugh at it appropriately. Yeah, being like you guys are idiots. Like you know. Well, I guess you know your hoaxing skills. Ooh, I like it. Are on point. I'm gonna do aliens next. Uh, but I wanted to say. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm very curious on where that one's gonna go. Um. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe we'll like. Have them decipher something, and it's going to be aliens. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like you're diving deep into the oh jungle. <laughs> oh. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we do have a new house plant. Uh, I don't think we have a name for him yet. Henry. I don't. I, I like Henry for that. We still never named that. Nemo. Did we come? Did we say uh, Nemo? It's staying with Nemo. I I like Nemo. Orange plant, white stripes. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll do Nemo. Um, Nemo I and Henry. Whoa. All right. So we're not sitting in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your mic's coming up your face. Because uh, ah, I moved it. <laughs> I moved it when I. So I want to say, did my uh, dad joke. I don't know if, I mean, for those of you who are kind of caught up and, and watched the last episode, uh, we've been able to add like pictures and, and stuff into the actual episode. We can do that with videos too. Uh, so we're actually going to be doing like video uh, submissions. If like, you guys want to like this, like this. <laughs> the funny part is nothing's going to show up there because <laughs> I have to wait until I show Baker. So there's nothing here, but <laughs> <laughs> there's yeah. going to be something here. So we we're just testing it. Yeah, I like want one of those people right there, and it'd be like dead on. Right, it's not going to be. <laughs> Absolutely not. Because we're not professional. Uh, but we did get a video Yet. submission this week from the Greener Grass Podcast. All right, all right. Yeah. Oh, and man. I, I let them know that uh, um, that we're starting this this week, and I wanted them to be the first submission. Okay. So you ready for this? It's going to be right here. <laughs> Take five. They're goofy as fuck. Yeah. We're just like. Boom! What is that? Oh, I love the slow mo. Right. Ready? Yep. And action. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> they sound like us. I'm, hey. No. I'm so <laughs> glad we're <laughs> not <anyway>. Right. <laughs> Hey, Adam and Baker. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for having us on your podcast, giving us an opportunity to plug our podcast, The Greener Grass Podcast. Cute. Hey. I'm Emily. And I'm Jackie. And we really hope you guys will check our podcast out after you listen to this one, of course. You can find us everywhere. Like, you know where to find podcasts. Except YouTube. We're not there yet. Not yet. But coming soon. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. We take two different topics and we weigh the pros and cons and decide what we would rather do. Yeah. So, I mean, we talk over each other all the time. We talk about farts and burps. 
can confirm. She <laughs> I'm disgusting. We're really funny, though. We like to think we're really funny. <laughs> so, what would you rather listen to besides the average? Oh, yeah, check out that beanie and that shirt. Right. Check us out every Monday. New episodes. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. It is amazing. Thank I you, love ladies. The energy. Yes, thank you, ladies, from the Greener Grass podcast. Um, yeah, it's uh, mm-hmm. it's definitely an awesome show. Uh, obviously, I, I rock their merch all the time. Yeah, uh, I try not to wear it on every episode of ours, right. but it's like the most comfortable shirt of all time. All right, and they do their merch the same place that we do ours, so ours is comfy too. So, but that's right. Um, but yeah, shout out to them. Definitely check out their their new episodes <clears throat> on Mondays every week. Uh, they're basically everywhere, like they said, except YouTube. Uh, Jackie said YouTube may or may not be coming soon, but I mean, as these guys know, adding in the video element is not just setting up a camera. Yeah. There's a lot more to it once you add <laughs> video. So, uh, you know, be patient with them. But yeah, their episodes are hilarious. I know Justin listens every week. I try. I try. I'm behind. Okay. But that makes me feel better because I'm behind. Too. I, I try and catch up and right. I, tr- I keep up mostly on on Instagram and Snapchat. Right. Right. Yeah. They uh they definitely, you know, uh they're definitely a podcast that I, you know, want to catch up. I just like don't have enough time. But that's good. That's a good sign of a, a good podcast is like being like, oh, man, I need to catch up like every right. week. Uh, that means they're putting out a lot of good stuff. So, right, uh, definitely check them out. But yeah, we can uh, we can accept video submissions now. So that's wild. Dope. Um, that probably pa- played right about <laughs> here in this area. Maybe like right here, right or there. like right here, right here, or maybe right. He- like if we made a box, would it be like? Yeah, it's gonna be about right like right here ish. You're give gonna or take. be in like, the way the whole time. Like right what? Here. <laughs> yeah, about where his ugly face is. Like, if we were to do this. Yeah, if we, like, vogued on him, but, like, right here. Like, if know? we put your, like, blockhead right there. <laughs> yeah, you dick. It's, it's hurtful because it's true. Uh, <laughs> looking like Steve off of Minecraft. Oh, man, oh. that's brutal, son. Wow, I it's like so it. accurate. I like your style. Now, don't say that because that's mean. <laughs> That was funny. That's me. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so next topic. So you'll get, you guys are mean. But, yeah, so send us video submissions. Um, if you're just sending us, like, a 10-second video of just flipping us off, that's fine. We'll play it. Uh, if you want to ask questions, <laughs> if you want to give feedback, if you want to promote something, let us know. Uh, we'll most likely throw it onto the episode. I don't want to say 100%. Right. Because Justin brought up some Fair points about uh, maybe not putting some of these things on here, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, it's worth a shot. Ninety nine percent we'll probably put on. Um, but speaking of like dicks, <laughs> <laughs> nice segue. <laughs> Fucking fantastic segue. <laughs> Oh, what? No, it's real. It's real. Oh, no so, shit. I, that's even no, it worse. makes sense. It makes sense because we were talking about the dirty videos that we're going to get, right? Everybody yeah. was on the same page oh, there. Yeah. And then this next topic has to do with <laughs> dicks. Uh, so. <laughs> First off. <laughs> so I want to ask First you guys. First off. Now, this is just a yes or no question. Um, I do not want you to elaborate if you know what I'm talking about. But have you guys heard, it was probably like two weeks ago now, maybe three weeks ago, because I get all my news from podcasts, <laughs> which are usually recorded a couple of days before or whatever, so I'm usually a little late to the news. But have you guys heard the song that went uh, number one on the country billboard charts this last, uh, basically at the beginning of December, I believe? Of 2020? Yeah. Have you heard anything about this? Hell no. The Maybe last, the last, not. I don't know. You would know if you did. The so. last okay. crazy one that I knew that went up under the country like hit list was uh, what the shit? What uh, little little yeah. Nas X Old Town Road? You are old, yeah. Uh, what the hell? Because that was a long time ago. That was twenty twenty. <laughs> that was uh, twenty fifteen, bro. 
No, you're right. Uh, but I no, I'm talking about a current here. one, a new one. No. Now this one, uh, I like the song. Okay, it's oh. a country song, but I well, like. I don't it. know where this and is going. You'll see why. You'll see why. This is okay. So first off, this is all bad. Let me tell you why. Yeah. You like music, so yeah. it's definitely gonna be something you like. Mm-hmm. I've I, established that we still haven't come to the. Any any part to where it has to do with dicks, which you said it has to do with, so oh, I'm very will. scared on where this is going. You should be. And is it's it Bo Burnham? Country. No, dang. I do like Bo Burnham, but no. It's country. Like I'm, I'm scared. Okay, so and you like it? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so look at that drool. Yeah. Can uh, we put animations into? I don't know how to do that yet, man. Shit, we're gonna wow. Try. Um. <laughs> Jeez. But so how much this do you is already expect? preloaded into the soundboard. Um, and uh, I kind of, oh the song's God. by Trey Lewis. Okay. So anybody who knows what I'm talking about now will start laughing because they know. Do do you guys want to know the name of the song before no, or no, after no. the I'm clip? Gonna, I'm nope. going to I'm I'm gonna try and guess the name okay, of the song. Okay. Now, the hold on. Okay. But. The, the song should fade in itself to a good volume, so you shouldn't have to do anything. Go ahead and hit that purple button. Oh, God. Are you ready? I'm born ready. Uh, no, you weren't. She left me all alone. The chorus is coming up. Up church yeah. needs to do a song with him. What's that? He said Up Church needs to do a song with him. Oh man, it's great. Uh that is yes. Trey Lewis. Uh, the song is called Dick Down in Dallas. Dick Down in Dallas. <laughs> and it was number one on the Billboard Country Charts. Number one. <laughs> number one, like a couple weeks ago. That's... I wonder what the clean version sounds like. Uh, who cares? Not like that. Because <laughs> you definitely can't throw penis down. I mean, what are you going to throw it down in Dallas? That's that's probably exactly what they fucking did. I bet you. No, they, they probably did. just bleeped it out because you can't. <laughs> they just bleep. I bet you they just silenced it. Yeah, yeah. Down but in Dallas. That was. How fantastic. do you guys? Yeah, what do you guys think of that? That's only over. the chorus. There's a whole song. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Is it all that catchy? Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty. Damn good. it. It's pretty good. If there were more songs like that, because there are some that are catchy. Right. But crazy shit like that, I might listen to country more. Right. You want to hear it again? Because that's do. not. I kind of want to hear not, it again. Go ahead and hit that's it. That's not Justin. pandering. That's oh, not no. Like, oh. It's great. I'm going to need a little more volume on it, yeah. too. Crank that let's, shit up. let's rock it. All right. That's probably good. <laughs> that's so true. That, oh, my God. No, I, I'm it's just so gonna. Good. I'm just gonna have to say, you, Trey Lewis. You said yes. Congratulations, Trey Lewis. He is like I gotta hear number I, like, I, like number I one. Literally, fuck. I'm doing it right now. I'm downloading the song, like, dude. It's so good. I gotta put it on there just so I can, you know, remember to listen to this <laughs> because I'm serious. Like shit, like that. Like there's some catchy, but half the time, dude, I just can't listen to country. Right. No, I agree. I just can't, man. Like it's so hard. No, because it's all video. cliche. <laughs> right. It is. My and dog ran away. Yeah. And my truck yeah. broke down. Like me and Danielle, right? We've been together for like ever, right? Yeah. Forever. Yeah. You're basically vampires. We. Yes. 
The Lost Boys. <laughs> <laughs> the Lost yeah. Boys. Sure. Except she's a girl. Maybe. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so, but she, she like is always trying to get me to like country. Right. And I just can't. I can't. Nope. I can't get into it. Like I can't get into the lyrics because it's like. Talking about fucking beer or whiskey, and then they're breaking up, and then somebody's <laughs> committing suicide, or somebody's yep. dying, that's or somebody's dog got ran over by somebody's big truck. Yep, that's what my dad always says. Like he always like, makes fun of it because he's always he's like an old school rocker, like yeah. Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, Ozzy, kind of things like that. ACDC. <clears throat> Dude, I can and, listen uh, to that shit all right. day. But yeah, he always he always makes fun of country, and he basically says what I said a minute ago. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Oh, my truck broke down, and my dog ran yeah, away." Yeah, it's like anybody and that now mimics. Now I gotta cry all night yeah. in my pillow. <laughs> like, anybody that mimics country like usually sounds exactly like that and does right. the same shit. Right, it's the same every single time. Like I just can't get into it. Right, but like rock, I don't know. I can't really get into like new rock. Right. Now, yeah, don't I get really me wrong. Have. I like somebody that can sing country. Right. But. Well, I grew up in Belleville, and I had big trucks, and there's, you know, we went mudding and, like, did, like, the country life. Mm-hmm. So, like, naturally growing up, I listened to country a little bit and kind of had, like, I always had, like, my, my rock and, like, my, you know, pop punk mm-hmm. kind of stuff. But there was a little country in there for, like, a year or two, and I'm just like, I can't do it. Like, I tried for so yeah. long. I just can't. Mainly for the ladies. It is what it is. I was young and dumb. It's cool. <laughs> it's You're Justin, over it. To Justin's point, though, like, to listen to somebody. Like, are you talking about, like, live, like, listening to somebody? Yeah. Like, I'm I'm talking, like, Chris Stapleton. Like, that dude can sing. Mm-hmm. He's a country Dude's... artist, but he's an artist. Right. right. And there are some that definitely are, to your point. There definitely are. But at the same time, like, there's so many that aren't. Right. <laughs> like, I don't know any exactly. other way to put it. And that's my thoughts. I mean, to each his own. I, I don't diss country. I'm not going to say, like, F country and all I, that stuff. Like I usually do. Right. <laughs> there's times I'll bear with it because one or two songs might pop on that are, like, good. Right. And then I, I can't, like, ma- I got to make sure Danielle does not catch me, like, getting right. into it. <laughs> oh, are you, like, country? No. I No. But this the one. song's catchy. Yeah. This one is going to be on the playlist permanently. Hell yeah, it is. Because it's awesome. That shit is great, dude. Dick Down in Dallas. Dick Down in Dallas. Yeah. Tag teamed in Tennessee. Ah! It's just... Anal in Austin. And what do you uh, say? Butt fucked in Boston? Butt fucked in yeah. Boston. Oh, man. So God. great. It's yes. So, <laughs> it's just beyond... Uh. I had to show you guys and that, and just, I had to wait till the camera was on. <laughs> <laughs> That's just in one night. Right. I, I appreciate it. It's you. true. Damn, she's flying she was around. Red, she was red-eyed in Raleigh. <laughs> there you go. That's what that one was. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you guys love that as much oh as I do. Oh, my God. Um, well, that was great. <laughs> well, the next thing that's that's going to be great is... Uh, I kind of thought of an idea, and I think I kind of screwed myself with this idea. That's fantastic. I love it when ideas come and bite you in the fucking back. (laughs) But now that, again, now that we can put pictures or videos or whatever into the episode, I decided, or I asked Baker if he wanted to, to look at our old Facebook Um. Like, I would look at his, he would look at mine. Old Facebook? You had an old Facebook? No, it's all been oh, the same Oh, I was about one. to say, you little fucking, that's where I couldn't find any. Good, oh, good, man. Good, 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 good. But, uh. I have an old Facebook. <laughs> that, yeah, I had to look at his old one, too. But, uh, yeah, so we, we each picked basically three, I think we each got three, right? Yep. Three pictures of us, um, and we're basically going to have to explain them. Or explain the context, or explain kind of just what we were thinking in these pictures. Okay? You want to go first with it? I'll go first. Okay. All right. Um, Because I know, the reason I say I think I screwed myself is because I know how many embarrassing pictures of myself I have on there. And then I I was like, this is a good idea. And then I text Baker, he's like, yeah, let's do it. And then I start looking back at his, and I'm like... Nothing. You got. You ain't got shit. You can tell we got kids, <laughs> like a mug. Yeah, except you probably deleted yours. I left mine. <laughs> I didn't really delete mine though. Well, I just didn't really post dumb shit on Facebook. 
Well, that's I, where I, we I, differ, sir. Social media. <laughs> all all yeah. my dumb stuff is on Instagram. Right. So uh, first and foremost, let me just start okay. off by saying yeah. you take a lot of selfies. <laughs> okay. You post a lot. And you take mirror selfies. It's cute. Oh, back in the day, <laughs> I definitely so did. Many mirror oh, selfies. you Dude, were emo. Listen, t- so let emo. me defend myself. <laughs> this was all of these that he's probably referring to are between 2007 and 2009. Probably. Was that the dope thing? The to do? dark days. What? Oh, yeah, dude, it was the cool thing to do <laughs> to like, be to be young again. Yeah, like when you were when you were in A high female? school. What? <laughs> when you were in high school. And you're like 15, 16. Dude, I got so I don't even want to hear about, dude, because there's one picture I got of you, and I'm like, who do you think you are, dude? <laughs> so. Oh, I got some ridiculous let's pictures go. on my what phone. What do you got? <laughs> All right, so this one just caught me, and I just want to know what the fuck was happening. Oh, no. I, it's probably not even that there's bad. There's a couple that I was like, if he asked me these, it's about to get wild. I just want to know. Ah, that's a good one. That is a good one. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so right now everybody's looking at the picture probably right about here in this area, give or take, maybe. So, for that one, <laughs> do you want to show him? For this one, uh, this is when I was like 19 or 20, uh, had my own place. This was, oh, this was when I was 19 because... Had my own place, and my my house was the party I house. I remember this picture. My my house was the party house, um, and for this one, we'd been partying for a good at least six days straight, at least. Okay, in the middle of Mansfield, cops only got called a few times, which is wild. <laughs> uh, Not bad for six days straight. Yeah, uh, our. I remember the first week we were there, and actually it might have been this night. I think it was this night. It was a Tuesday. I remember this. Yeah, because we moved in on Friday. So we partied Friday. No, we partied Thursday there because I had the keys, but I wasn't technically supposed to move in until Friday. But we threw like a mini party with the friends there. No no furniture or nothing. We just like sat on the floor and like That's a key. You had, had a the good keys. time. That's all you yeah. needed. Yeah. This, yeah. So... Thursday, we did that, obviously loud music. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all turned up. And then Tuesday is when this happened. But I specifically remember the neighbor coming out, and we were all on the front porch. And he was as cool as he could have been. We were like, I think I was 19. And this dude's probably late 20s, early 30s. Like, he's still a younger guy. But he came over, and he was like, hey, guys. And, like, kind of snuck up on us. He didn't mean to, but just how everything was mapped out. You you felt like he snuck up on you. (laughs) Yeah, we just weren't paying attention. (laughs) And uh, he comes up, and he's like, he's like, hey, guys, uh, you know, like, I know you guys just moved in, and you're having a good time, and, like, I'm all for it. And he's like, but it's fucking Tuesday, and my lady in there is really upset. (laughs) He's like... Can you please just tone it down for a night? And I was That's like, respectable. Yeah, I was like, I got you, man. Like, you know, he was nice about it. So I was like, cool. You know, not trying to piss off the neighbors too much. Right, right. But yeah, so this picture was <laughs> after we went back inside, kept drinking, kept doing all this other fun stuff. And then, uh, you know how, like, when you're partying really hard and you start to, like, just naturally, like, sweat because you're having a good time? Like after a long time, <laughs> I mean, when you when you're really man, like yeah, I guess I just never went on a binger like that. You got, well, the, you got the meat sweats. I got the I got the cobra sweats is what it was. Oh, okay, yeah, basically. Yeah. And, uh, All right. So like for some reason, I'm just fucking like feeling crazy, and my hair like I just went like this and put my hair all back, and it just went poof, <laughs> just like that picture. <laughs> And I just, like, looked down at my phone and took a selfie. And I don't remember why, but the thought, for some reason, was, like, I need to document how fucked up I am. <laughs> Day and, six. And if you look at, like, fucked my eyes. Up. If you look at my eyes, like, yeah. I don't have a lazy eye, but that night I did. You did. <laughs> I was sure. like, ugh. Fucked up. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what. Like, it's so bad. <laughs> Your hair's a hot mess. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. So 
This one, I feel like is going to be a similar story from you. You ready for this? No. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) What you got, son? What you got? Oh, let me see this again. (laughs) Yeah, that was so long ago. It takes me back. Right. Man. That takes me back. I want to say that might have been. Oh God, was that either? It might have been graduation. I think. I will say there was another picture of you. It looked like the same night because I think you were wearing the same stuff. Yeah. And it was you and like three other dudes just like taking a, a bro pick like we yeah. all used to do. And I showed uh, Harper's mom the picture, and I said, "Which one's Baker?" And she couldn't pick it out. She yeah. was like, what? And I was like, yeah, I didn't think he was in this picture. And then I saw this one, and I was like, oh, that's him. And she's like, <laughs> what? So I think this was, God, this might have been a little bit <laughs> after I graduated. Okay. And it was a buddy's house. I'm not going to mention any names. Right. Did um, they call you Baker Forty Hands? Baker Forty Hands. Uh, no, dude, but I did play a game one time called Edward. Yep, Edward Forty Hands. Oh god, is with a King monster. Cobras. Yep, mm-hmm. bad. Yep. Um, but with that one, we went over to his house, um, our buddy's house, and he had beer pong out, and it was just a bunch of us friends getting together, drunk, bro. Yeah, very very drunk. Um, are these all yours? Yeah, <laughs> I figured we yeah. lost. Oh. These were from Pong. Yeah, okay, we see. were playing beer pong like all night, dude. All night. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was insane. There's like there's there's really no background to that story other than the fact that yeah, we lost, but <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe that that's how young I was, dude. Right. Like Isn't it wild? <clears throat> insane. And I always wore a fitted. Always. Yeah. Always. Oh, I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> like when I was younger. I, yeah. When I was in high the school. The fitted was the thing, man. There was a picture, another picture of you with <laughs> Uh, like a, a, I think it was like a Hollister tee or an Aeropostale or something. Yeah, with some baggy ass cargo shorts. <laughs> okay, and I was like, I was like, that was 07 yeah. right well, there. Let me see, oh, let me yeah. see this one again. So this shirt, I don't <laughs> think you could see it. SMU or something. No, so the shirt says because I remember the shirt too. <laughs> okay. It's the best fucking shirt ever. It says <laughs> smile. It's the second best thing you can do with your mouth. <laughs> Yes. I remember that shirt. Yes. Did you I get remember it from Spencer's? It. Hell, oh, no, I think I got it. God, it might have been from like Hollister. Like it was a legit like nice shirt. Yeah. I, I think mean, it was a Hollister. Like I it think it was like a nice, <laughs> I don't think it was a Spencer's, but yeah, dude, I fucking remember that shirt. That's awesome. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I was an idiot. Like you see how big of an idiot I was wearing a white hat and a white shirt. Yep. To a fucking garage where we're playing beer pong, right? Like hitting black Dude, and that miles was, and was that was beer every pong. high after high school party. Right? Yeah, right. We still wore all that shit. Yeah, right. dude. Pong was our pong was our thing, dude. I fucking love pong. Yeah, dude. We should have. Ooh, no. We should oh, have a pong oh tournament. Oh my god! I'm down. I, knew it was I mean, obviously, say I can't drink, but I'm well. Down. That's fine. Well, I'll beat the damn. shit out of you guys. Yeah. Dude, yeah. My partner's drinking double. I'll do it. I'll be that guy. Uh, all right, what you got? Excuse me. You've been burping all fucking night because of your four cupcakes and your bag of Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah, outed dude. you, son. Yeah, you I did. just outed Gosh, you. Gosh, dude. Don't be telling the world about my shit. Okay. Baker ate four um, cupcakes and a family-sized bag of Skittles. So it was not a family size. That was regular. It was a share size. That was regular. No, it wasn't. Oh, now you're going to look for the wrapper. Listen, listen, Linda. Yeah, that's a regular what, one. You see right it's right here scary. where it says family size? Oh, <laughs> oh fucking out of here. Get that out of here. All, All right. right. I can't wait till the world sees this one. <laughs> oh, man. Got him. Oh, man. Um, Over here, Baker. Over here. Man. Now that's a filter. I've, I've seen that one before. That's too. a filter. Yeah. So they say that that wasn't actually me. Let me see that again. No, that's actually you. 
Well, right, 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 right. That's right. definitely you. But this was beautiful. I'm thinking, are we at Cedar Point? Trying to think where I am. I think I was tagged on a lot of these photos, but it just seems like I stalk you. Yeah, you do. Yeah, uh, I think no. I might. <laughs> <laughs> was this maybe Tennessee? Dude, I don't I remember. I think it might have been Tennessee. Was it Tennessee? I really don't know. I don't remember the story of this. <laughs> I just know. I blame Jerry. Do you know who took this picture? Jessica. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, this so, was an uploads. Yeah, yeah. Uploads is where it's at. <laughs> That's exactly because, where it's at. Because you don't know what to expect. Right, right. You have no idea what the hell somebody else is gonna post. Um no, I don't I don't remember like I remember her taking this and then her posting it and me just being like really Fuck. <clears throat> but like she's like it's too good not to post and I was like that's fair. Y- you did look very photogenic. I don't remember what it was though. I I honestly forget <laughs> what we were doing. Um but yeah, I mean that's definitely embarrassing. It's a cute one. Yeah, I good I, work. I wish I knew more man, but I don't. <laughs> don't be embarrassed of the filter. I'm not ever. Okay. But this but one But again, that's what he just wants you to think that it was a filter. All right, guys, it's a little break in the action <laughs> Every here time. to talk about our Patreon producers, our Patreon members in general, uh, small business sponsors, and all that kind of fun stuff. All of you. Uh, yeah, everybody that's listening, we appreciate it. Let's start with our small business sponsor, though, because we normally don't. So oh, what you got? Absolutely. We've got Brew Baker Photography. That's <laughs> big. <laughs> Woo, get it. That sounds way better than what I did. It did. It did. I like yours though. A for originality. Thank you. Thank get you. Thank it. you. A for originality. <laughs> a for originality. Uh, There's an A in there. I don't know. Roll with it. But yeah, Brewbaker Photography. Why'd you guys have to kill my vibe? I'm done. <laughs> Brewbaker Photography. Thank you very much. You're the glue that holds this shit show together. <laughs> Facebook.com slash Brubaker Photography One. That is B R U B A K E R. I spelled it right. I memorized it. I'm a genius. My man. So I'm talking about. Did it. Not uh, close to Nemo. Don't get the, don't don't explode close to Nemo. Phrasing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Your vibe. Thank you for uh for the support, Brubaker Photography. You are our first and only small business sponsor. Uh, we do have those options available through Patreon as well. Um, and then our Patreon producers, um, I do want to start off by giving a special shout out to our Patreon producer, Sarah. Okay. She just got engaged yesterday. Ooh. So congrats to Sarah. Congratulations. Yes, yes. congrats to her. Congrats. Um, she has supported us for quite a while. Yes. She's awesome. hilarious and awesome. Um, so yeah, big shout out to her. Um, and then we got, so we got Sarah, we got Taylor, Tommy, Steve, Teach a Dummy Podcast, but really, man, I'm losing steam, uh, Nate, and, are you sure? it's, that's eight, that's eight, I don't, I also don't know how to count, yay. turns out, hey, <sighs> idiot, been it's been a shit show, if you're on the Patreon, you know why, uh, but, yeah, thank you to everybody that supports us. Uh, you guys are great. And uh, I thank guess you. that's all. Back to the action. Peace. Boom. This one. Okay. <laughs> so that one is clearly a filter, what is on my head. <laughs> this one is not a filter. <laughs> so they say. I I just need to... I just need you to explain the thought well, why process. You, why you got to get up? <laughs> I just need you to to explain the thought process of like this. I guess like why why you did this to to yourself? Okay. God, the anticipation is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that oh to yourself? My God. Why would you do that? Because I thought that hat was dope, dude. That was the <laughs> beanie with the fucking. Uh, with that little with mini the, bill? Yeah, with the mini bill to it. <laughs> and it, as you could tell from the first photo, you saw how I wore my hats to the side. <laughs> I was, I like me too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about because I was the preppy gangster. Right. 
And I wanted to live up to that shit. Because you felt like a snowboarder Dude, I, when there wasn't <laughs> snow on the ground. You fucking yeah. ain't right. I can't believe I dress like that either, though, dude. Holy <laughs> right. shit. What, felt like an idiot. what were you thinking? I don't know. I thought that was the fad. <laughs> I mean, it was. That's the problem. It was. <sighs> and, I, dude, that's insane. Dude, that look with some nice cargo shorts. Yeah. And some nice, like, Reeboks or some Nike shocks. And I got it. Man, you getting it, son. So I got, I got it all the time at school. I was the preppy gangster. Oh, my God. Due to That's the fact, so embarrassing. Due to the fact that, like, I always had, as you could tell, like, either, like, a polo on or a button-up or, like, something like that. So I always looked nice. And I had, like, some nice, nice nice cargos or jeans on or something like that. And then I'd come to school with some fucking 12s in the back of my trunk. <laughs> bro, like, bumping shit yeah. with my fitted on backwards or to the side because I was hood. Right. And some fucking Jordans, dude. maybe. Okay. Or some so, Nikes. Dude, I had like, to because I was in CAD and I, there was a dress code. Uh, <laughs> so I had to do that. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to do that, I had to shave. Oh, uh, screw and that. Then, yeah. And then I'm like, well, I'm going to bend the rules a little bit. So I'm going to wear this gangster ass coat. Right. And I'm going <laughs> to put my, put my shoes on because I can bend that rule. And <laughs> You're going to put your shoes on? Like, there you go. I could wear my cool shoes, my right. nice DCs that I spent eighty yeah. bucks on. The at DCs the time. and the Osiruses. The Osi- and yeah. Etnies. <laughs> Etnies. I still got a pair of Etnies, man. Those are my every days when I don't want my Jordans to get all fucked yeah. up. Oh man. Um gangster skater boy. Dude, I, I mean I can't I can't front there was a there was a point, dude, and I it wasn't you, but I hope it was you. And I it's very unlikely <laughs> that it was. But now I'm picturing it as you, and I'm really excited. Me and Jerry pulled into McDonald's parking lot over on Hanley at, like, 12 or 1 o'clock. Uh, this is when we were 17. And I'm in my uh, little, what was it? Uh, it was a Cavalier. Yep, little five-speed Cavalier. And I had a system and stuff like that. And there was two... Two cars full of people in front of us, and they were they were clearly in their parents' car, like they were in like BMWs and stuff. And it was two white dudes, or no, two black dudes, in in each car driving, and the rest is just filled with chicks, right? <laughs> and like, there's like six or seven chicks with them total. Hey, pamping. Yeah, and they're bumping in their Beamers that have like no <laughs> system, and it just sounds shitty and stuff. And then we go through the drive-thru, and they pulled over into, like, a parking spot, and they had, like, their doors open, and they're all, like, so outside. So like, music. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. But it sounded shitty because it's, like, their parents' fucking cars. <laughs> and then me and Jerry, when we're 17, <laughs> I will say, like, I'm not attractive now. I was way worse back then. <laughs> so two ugly, fat motherfuckers, white as shit, pulled up and just crept by them, <laughs> blasting a milli. And if you had subs, uh, yeah. you know how They're hard so a milli hit. so deep. And we just fucking cruised at like two mile an hour, <laughs> just bumping and just staring at them, just cruising right by. Right. And the dudes were just like... Because uh, that was the shit Major back then. Major buzz kill. Yeah, it was, it was how how good was your base? How good was your system, dude? And me and Jerry always say we we out we out blacked the black dudes. <laughs> and those chicks oh just God. wanted our nuts. Oh, uh, that is I've dude, never yeah. experienced that feeling again. <laughs> dude, a chick I really... wanting your nuts? <laughs> what? A chick wanting your nuts? Yeah, it's yeah. been a while, Never, dude. never happened again. I really, I really <laughs> miss my system. I remember, I remember the first system or the first car that I went into with the system. I don't remember yeah. the exact car. Um, but the crazy shit is he's um, a recruiter out of my work. Oh, really? Yeah, like through the um, through the third-party company. Yeah. Yeah, so it was fucking hilarious because we, like, reminisced. But he used to work at ABC Warehouse. Yeah. And that's where I used to always get my systems at after that. Yep. But my buddy lived down the street from him, and we went down to his house one time, and he's like, yeah, check this out. I had to sit in the car. And I think he had two 15s in the back yep. of his car. Yep. But... Knew all of his shit, right? So this thing was set up perfect. He put it up to literally one or two, I think. Mm -hmm. And it was so hard to breathe 
in the front yeah. seat of that car. Like, it was taking my breath away. I was like, I want a system so See, bad. Dude. Like, I'm dying. Like, I want a system. Yeah. <gasps> I had I had two 12s, which is kind of standard, but I had 1,000 <laughs> watts going mm-hmm. to them. And my my stereo went up to, like, 40 or whatever, and I could never put, put it past, like, 12. Yeah. 12 was the highest you could go without, like... Blowing something. Yeah, without, yeah. like, you know... Pissing the whole fucking town God, off, dude. I miss my <laughs> shit though, for real. I yeah, do. dude, it was fun. I I um, want something a little more conservative now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are t- there are days where I just want to just go and right. Blast there's a away, lot of but there's a lot of the newer systems though that even sound nice. Yeah, like that you really don't even need a system, but. God, dude, do I miss it? Right. Like I still think what are those like the those base tube things or whatever mm-hmm. those. Fuck, were they called like the bazooka tubes yeah, or whatever? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Those things were kind of dope. Well, it's it's a bummer because the car I was driving before this was actually Harper's mom's car, mm-hmm. but it was a cheap like we literally paid fifteen hundred bucks for it, a little white car, little Nissan. Oh yeah. yeah, and it's it's fun and it's cool and it's you know good for her and stuff. But it has we didn't realize when we bought it because the the faceplate was off. You know, so nobody stole it or whatever. Yeah. And then when I bought it, he gave me the faceplate and stuff, obviously. But I didn't realize it because I didn't get to test it out that it had a built-in 12 and it had the premium sound <laughs> system in the in the trunk. Nice. And that thing, like, it's a $1,500 car. And, like, I, f- you know, I, uh, I miss that system. And I have a... You know, a three-year-old car mm-hmm. that's worth like fifteen times that, and it's not quite as good. And I'm like, man, this car has all the bells and whistles, yeah. But that one sub that I'm missing, and it's, it's hard though too because once you get into that custom shit, dude, mm-hmm. it's hard to to like the actual factory, no matter mm-hmm. what it is. Even like the newer stuff, if you ever get into the custom made shit, right? It's it's hard it's to okay, fall back but to it. yeah, but yeah, it's but that's all like it's ever gonna be, right? You know what I mean? Right. Nothing's gonna be able to compare, and that's what sucks, dude. Right. Like sucks, because music's important, I think, and I think it it has to sound good, especially yes. when you take road trips and yes. yeah. driving your car for an hour a right. day right. one way, right. absolutely. Well, <laughs> like I really need to get my set my shit set up with the um, <laughs> like something Bluetooth or the aux cord or something, because mm-hmm. Sirius XM man, like. <laughs> <laughs> I like it and everything, but there's only so much you can listen to, and they, right. you know, it's only, it's damn near like a radio station. I mean, they're gonna bound right. to repeat themselves and stuff. So right, I feel it. Um, but I mean, I like it because it's change and it's you know hype music and gets me going in the morning. Right. But right, yep, I'll pay my <laughs> premium Spotify. I right. think I think we each got one left, right? Oh yeah, dude. Are you? I w- I kind of want to do mine last. Uh, I mean, that's fine. Ah fuck, I'll do it now. <laughs> Because there's one picture on there that I was like, if he picks this, it's going to be a wild story. But I don't know. Please, there's a couple. Please pick it. There's a couple. Oh, that's not me. It's not? No, that's not even me. That's some bullshit. Damn. I'll give you a minute to look then. That's some bullshit. He picked up. Because uh, I was going to say, first off, never seen you smoke. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't me. Ever. I, I'll put that picture up here so people can see it. Okay. It was my cousin in a penguin costume. Drunk <laughs> as shit. But like the head of the penguin's kind of over his face and he's like fucking droopy. <laughs> so you can't really tell that it's not me. But yeah, that one's not me. But I'll do mine then. Okay. Okay. While you look for one. Um now this one, I will say it's kind of graphic. Okay. And we've talked about it before on a bonus episode. <laughs> is it my hand? It is your hand. <laughs> but I want yes. you to tell that story oh my God. to the public. Now, that bonus episode is out because um, that was a story time, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, that's story time, like... Eight, nine, ten, one no, of those two. It was an earlier one, was man. It? I think so. Yeah, I think it, okay. it might have been an earlier one. Let me see that again. Well, all the sto- one through nine of the story times are on the YouTube, and number ten will come out uh, <coughs> this Friday. God, that one's hella graphic. Right. So that's why I wanted. That to was the you aftermath guys. too. Oh, yeah. you should see the one I have on my phone, dude. I so smash my thumb. So it's this gnarly. picture. God. <laughs> so I was drunk. Yeah. <clears throat> apparently. Expected. But so it was Michigan Ohio State game. 
um, the year that Michigan won. Oh, I don't, it, it, the last win, so a while ago. Right. Like what? Ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. Dude. Um, Shots fired. So it was that year, and now let me just start by saying, people that know me know that I'm not like. I like Michigan. I like it for the friendly competition. Again, let me repeat, the friendly competition. Um, but I never I'm never like the one to say like F you for Ohio State. Like I think Ohio State's a good team and all that. Let right? me stop you real quick. This is what we call foreshadowing. Go ahead. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> but <laughs> before so we get started. I'm a smart I'm a smart fan because I don't like confrontation with that bullshit. But so we go to um a bar and galleon. That we both live by. God, I forget what his name is. It's not there anymore. But I go there to meet him, and I'm like, hey, let me buy you a drink because we kicked your ass because he likes Ohio State, right? So right. friendly competition. I'm going to go. Oh, you knew the dude? Yeah. So I, oh, okay. To go to the place. That's where we were at. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. So um, we go there, and the beer turns into, like, what, two or three, like, tall boys of, like, God, good stuff. I forget what it was. Bud Sam Weiser. Adams. Sam Adams. And then you also fancy. shots of Patron. You real fancy. <laughs> so the little beer turned into that, right? So I'm like, okay, we got to go. I got to go pay the tab. So I go up there, pay the tab. It's busy, right? Because it was just right. game day. We go up there, and this dude is just, like, staring at me this whole entire time. Staring, staring, staring. Did you, did you tell him what you're wearing? Oh, I was wearing my Michigan shirt. Fuck, I forgot to say that. That's why I went into the whole Michigan-Ohio State thing. Right. Yeah, but I was wearing my Michigan shirt. Didn't say anything to anybody about it or whatever in there. But, yes, apparently I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, so just staring at me. And as I'm trying to get the bill and pay for all my shit, he just keeps staring at me. So I kind of look over there and I go, hey, what's up, man? You got a problem? So he walks over. We have a confrontation. Start to kind of, like, get into a little bit. He fucks with my bill and my receipt and, like, tries to sign it and everything like that. We get into a little bit more confrontation. And then <laughs> by the end of this, I also, I also probably said some vulgar things to his wife that I shouldn't have said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> I'm not proud of myself on that one. Mm -hmm. But that really fueled his fire, which I definitely shouldn't have done. But I'm small and I talk shit. That's my specialty. And you're what, like twenty? Ah, uh, dude, twenty three, maybe. I was younger. Yeah, definitely younger. And so <laughs> he's trying to get me out of the bar like a bouncer would, right? Like him and his buddy are trying to get me out of the bar, and they're pulling me, and I'm pissed, so I'm going like this, and I'm squirming because I can't fight, and I'm little <laughs> and they're big, so I'm trying to like weasel my way out of it. And where we were at, the doors are, um, people haven't been in my house, but you have, oh like, the no. upstairs door with the panels, the window panels. Right. That's what it was. So it had, like, three panels and, like, five or six rows of those three panels of glass, right? This is going exactly where I think it's going. So the dudes are trying to, like, walk me out of the bar, and as they are, and I'm squirming, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing that, dude, my hand just goes right through one of those glass panels. Like, just poof. Immediately threw it. Right. Don't even realize it, because apparently I've got all this adrenaline going. Right. And then... And Patron. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we're still going. And then Mostly all of a sudden, Patron. like, I look down, I go, oh, shit. And, like, that's all I remember saying was, like, oh, shit. I had a... Um, underneath my Michigan shirt, I had a white Under Armour. All red, bro. Because you wear layers. Yeah. Because Baker has five layers <laughs> on his five tors layers torso on right, now. right now. I always wear layers. You got to. You have layer up, son. Let me see. You have a a, a wife beater. Yep. A thermal. Yep. A t shirt. Yep. A hoodie. So you got yep. four right now, and four. then you got a jacket also behind you. Gang, gang. <sighs> He's always got I, fucking layers. I'm, 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 layer, I'm layered up today. That's a lot of laundry, dude. I'm getting that on the back of a shirt. Layered up. <laughs> <laughs> layered up, son. Yeah. So I look down. I'm like, oh shit, and everything's just bleeding, right? So I'm in the parking lot, walking to my car. These dudes are still trying to fight me, like, still talking shit. And I'm like, really? Like, we, this isn't, like, game over. You won, like, right. onto the – no, this is next round. Like, right. round two begin. No, I'm right. trying to fight. fucking leave. <laughs> so I didn't know what to do. I drive home. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? I drive home. I didn't live far away. I'm fucking beating on the door, dude. 
Danielle comes and she's like, what happened? What happened? I said, I need something to, I said, I need something to clean this and we're going to the hospital. (laughs) Yeah. She's like, what are you talking about? And I showed her my hand. She's like, oh my God. So we immediately go to the hospital. I ended up getting like 13 stitches, like completely. And while we were there, I guess, at the same time, one of the dudes that was there that was trying to bodyguard me out was also at the hospital for a gash in his forehead because apparently when I was squirming and doing all of this and all of that, I knocked the fucker's head into the window. <laughs> oh, damn. So, ha! <laughs> he didn't get 13 stitches, but, ha! <laughs> a little bit of payback. Ryan got a little something, something in there from that. No, dude, but yeah, man, I um, it was all bad, too. Like, shout out to my parents, and I... <laughs> Shout out to my parents on some real shit, dude. They put up with so much <laughs> stupid shit that I have done to where... can confirm. There's times where I'm like, and you didn't disown me? Right. Like, right. what the... F- right. But shout out to them. Like, I mean, they've been a big inspiration and shit for me, too, because of that. But, like, my mom was so pissed yeah. because when she got there... You I got was, in a bar fight and because then had I was, to go into the hospital. Like, yeah. have you ever been so drunk and then you get that adrenaline rush? And then after that adrenaline rush is done, like, you don't go to being sober. Right. You go back to being drunk as fuck. <laughs> yep. You just keep going. That's what I was. Like, yep. that's how drunk I was. Right. So when my mom got there, like, in the ER and all that stuff, dude, like, I was horrible. Like, I don't remember half of it, right. but I guess I was bad. Right. <laughs> like, and I'm like, oh, shit. But, yeah, dude, that oh, bad story behind that one. Yeah, and there's the extended version on the story oh. time, too, but that's that's the yeah. gist of it. Yeah, um, 13 stitches. That's awesome. You can still definitely see the scars. Oh, yeah, for right sure. There. And that one was freaking crazy. And then this one barely had any, like, up here somewhere. Right. Right there. Oh, I see it. It's yeah. a gnarly looking scar. Yep. Yeah, it looks dope. But yeah, it's oh my god, I had too many. I got way too many stitches. See, I don't have <laughs> right. I don't have many stories where I was injured, but there's a lot of stories where not good things happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've definitely had some. A lot of mine were either stupidity, right, without drinking, or stupidity <laughs> with drinking. Yep, that's <laughs> basically us. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's nuts, dude. But yeah, I'm glad that those days are done with. <laughs> yes. Yes. Were you able to find another picture? Uh, no, I didn't find one. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of irritated that that was not you. Yeah, I'm in sorry. Penguins, in the penguin suit. Yeah, we were we were definitely wasted, and he found that penguin suit. He fa- in okay. my attic, so we don't even know. So it was yours. I mean, it was at my house. Which is okay. why I posted it. <laughs> oh man! But the penguin suit wasn't yours. No, we. I don't think we know who the penguin suit <coughs> belonged to. Where did it end up? Oh, I don't know. On huh. his body. Dude, this is this is a decade ago. Right. I have no idea. And a lot of substances ago. Yeah. Back <laughs> when I was a bad kid. Right. Uh huh. Because I'm a good when, kid now. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good kid now. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Cannot confirm I'm anybody <laughs> else. <laughs> I was going to quote Mitch Hedberg. Not not literally, but he, he said, uh, I used to be on drugs. Or wait, I used to do drugs. I still do, but I used to, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Mitch Hedberg. All right, R. R. All, right, all right. Yep. He ain't lying, though. Right, right. I mean, it makes and sense. then he died of an overdose. Yep, so. but yeah. one of the funniest comedians yes. ever. He's hilarious. I wish he had more content out. Yep. Um, Donate to the Mitch Hedberg Fund. Is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, I think I think his family started is starting a foundation. <laughs> I foundation, believe it. A foundation. Foundation. Let's call it a foundation. Um, foundation. I think he died in like '05, right? Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a minute ago. But <clears throat> yeah, I wish. Uh, I wish we got more Mitch Hedberg. Uh, shout out to him. Yeah. Um, I got a couple more things, but I know. Run it. Okay. All right. Didn't find one. You giving up? Yeah, I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you can keep looking. You were looking. really banking no. on the penguin, weren't you? I was banking on the penguin. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Did that one have a caption? I think it did. No. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, But there's a couple more things I wanted to bring up. and Do it. 
they're completely as normal off topic. So I'm talking about running. Very, very off topic. Um, <laughs> so off topic, he can't even get it out. Well, you'll you'll understand why. So my daughter is two and a half years old, right? Mm-hmm. Two and a half, little cute baby, loves life and uh, people and and friends and stuff. And she's been going to daycare for a while now, and it's cool. And she's learning a lot, and uh, everything's cool. And we like them, and uh, it's a good place for her. Now, what she told me the other day, I was not happy with. You know what she said at two and a half years old? Oh, shit. She said that she... Piss cup motherfucker? Has a boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, bro. My little two-year-old baby. Ooh, don't don't forget two and a half. She grown. Two bro. and a half. Got to get that half. She has a boyfriend. Aww, oh, good for her. Yes. <laughs> Actually, the daycare told us, but we confirmed with her. Time out. And time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. The daycare told you that she has a boyfriend. They keep, well, yeah, they keep track. Yeah, they're you know they're in the same class, and apparently they hang out all day with each other. Yes, and uh, hold hands. And, yeah, oh. play in the gym and play all day with each other. You are in trouble. <laughs> it's true. He's, uh, he's a little mixed kid. He's cute, I will say. Because the, um, the daycare will upload, like, pictures yes. randomly of, like, just sh- stuff they're doing or whatever. And so uh, we said, Harper, what's your boyfriend's name? And she said, Lucas. And we're like, okay, you know, all right. So we pulled up some of these pictures that they – they uh, they posted it. You said which one's Lucas? She pointed him out. Yeah, and she pointed out yes. Lucas. And uh, we've gotten her now because I'm not gonna be a dad. I hate dads who are like overly protective of their kids. Like I get it, and to an extent I am, but like I will never like you know have like the shotgun and people. Yeah, like, you know, no. like whatever. Like I I want to meet him. Yeah, but hey, yeah, like I'm I'm never gonna be like overly protective and uh so like you know jessica's like oh you're not you're not upset and i'm like no. like she's two like it's nothing or whatever right. but we've taught her um that she can hold hands and uh and they can hug and stuff and i said but what can't you do and she says no kisses no kisses and i said yep no kisses oh. <laughs> so all the time all the time, I say, Harper, what do you and Lucas do? And she said, hold hands, no kisses. No I said, kisses. Good. Okay. That's fine. But yeah, what am I going to do when my two year old, two and a half, sorry. Starting off young. Yeah. So already has a boyfriend. So check it. You're kind of in a good position. Oh, okay. Right? All mm-hmm. right. They're both two and a half, right? Yeah. You can whip them both up to shape, bro. Yeah. Lucas might be a little older, though. Because hey. she's in the mm. two and three class. It's all right. She's two and a half. She yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. treat her like a three year old. She's the big dog on campus. We round sure. up. We round up. She a three year old. Yeah, that's right. Word. That's right. Um, but other than that, like I got nothing. <laughs> um, I'm scared because Caden's got a girlfriend. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. oh man. I mean, a little different age range, but yeah, yeah him and Bella. Oh, Bella. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Um, Tell us about Bella. So. <laughs> Bella became official and okay. also broke mommy's heart a Ooh. little bit when this happened. So Caden is big for picking flowers when it's like spring, summertime. Okay. Um, definitely loves the dandelions, and he will pick the flowers and always give them to mommy. Right. right. Always oh. gives them to mommy. Mommy got a little jealous. So Caden goes and soul. picks oh, out. Oh. Right. Caden goes out in the yard and picks out a couple flowers, and, you know, mommy's expecting them, and... Danielle goes to grab for the flowers, and they're not for her. Mm. Well, who are these flowers for, might you ask? For Bella. Now, did you know about Bella before this happened? Did not know about Bella. Oh, so this is how you found out. Uh, Yeah. So, who's Bella? Well, Bella's my girlfriend. (laughs) Oh, Oh, okay. So... After all this, like, after he gives her the flowers, and we're like, oh, well, you know, did she say thank you? And he's like, yeah. Well, the following day, Bella gave him a kiss on the cheek. 
Ooh. So they are official. Wow. How long has this been going on? Um. Oh, my God. Probably a couple weeks in freaking preschool. How long is and that? They went, I don't even remember now. Corona got me all screwed up. Like a couple months? Probably. It, it's been at least... At least three or four months. Okay. Yeah. So they've been, they've definitely been at it for a while. Wow. Um, Don't say they've been at it. They've been boyfriend and girlfriend for a while. Um, But our preschool does the same thing. Like we'll get pictures in the, um, like this group me chat and they're always like standing. It's either, it's him and his best friend, Henry Mm. and Bella. So it's like Bella, Caden, Henry. Right. Because Hit Henry's his best friend. Right. Best, best friend. That's awesome. Yeah, they're always right around each other. So it's fantastic, <laughs> and that's the one thing I love, but it's also because he's a boy, and I don't have to worry about, like, the right. whole. Right, it, And to your point, it's just scarier with a girl, dude. I mean, I'm not I'm not worried about Why? it, man. Why? Uh, Why is it scarier with a girl? Because look at all the shit that goes on. Look at all the shit, like, okay, human tra- or sex trafficking – don't be, like, don't be bringing that up. We're talking I'm about just, a two-year-old girlfriend. But no, I'm just saying, like, the sex trafficking and, like, the raping and all that stuff, primarily you hear all that stuff when it comes to females. That's true. Yeah. You don't typically have to worry about males. So, therefore, it's a much scarier world, Yeah, I but think, a two-year-old. I mean, overall, yeah. But yeah, but that's that's why I'm saying for a female. Yeah, but I'm not worried well, about t- that you know for what? a long time. You're not worried about that, but she's also starting to date now, so maybe you have to worry <laughs> earlier. <laughs> No man, I'm like just playing, but that I mean that's definitely a whole different right. subject. But no, definitely girls are. No, I don't. I've that's never true. been. Uh, I right. never even thought like before I was a parent that I would be that type of parent, like uh, you know, super protective of my daughter or whatever. Mm-hmm. And obviously, I'm protective of her, and like you know, don't want her to make bad decisions. But at the same time, like I was allowed to make a lot of bad decisions. Yeah, and uh, I think I'm doing okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but. With her, the um, the other reason that I'm not worried about it is she is a violent child. Yeah. She's... Mm-mm. And she hits really fucking hard already. <laughs> I think I sent you both the snap yeah. of her yeah. hitting me. And, like... Pounding on your stomach. Like, it was loud. Like, it hurt. <laughs> and, uh... Like, she's playing and stuff. Like, she's not even angry or whatever. But she, And, like, the other day... Uh, her mom sent me a video, and she was like, Harper, what did you say? And Harper said, um, she said, I'm going to fight you, and started, like, punching her, like, in the chest and, like, playing and stuff. But I haven't She's even an animal, man. I haven't even taught her how to really throw a punch yet. So it's uh, – I'm not really too worried about her. She's going to – you're not going to be able to, like, yeah, do anything. with Like, she's going to – you See, R- R- Remy's fun because he's starting to get anger issues and he needs to get it out, so he's starting to fight. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not good. I mean, you don't want him to fight. Right. Well, I mean, like, actually learn how to use it right. instead of fighting. Get him a punching bag. Yeah. It's the best thing ever. Yep. Um, I mean, I got I got plenty of more topics, man. I don't know how long you want this episode to go, but we can keep let's going. Put some in, let's put some in the, let's well, put we, some in the bank we for can't, next week. We okay. can't keep going. So What's that? We can't keep going. Oh, is the battery about to thing. die? We're at 20. At 20%? Mm-hmm. Fuck, it's because you guys ramble and wouldn't let me start the episode earlier. It's your fault, it's all right. not mine. It's all right. We're at a good stopping <laughs> point. You're the one that can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> nah, son, nah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think, uh, we should be past an hour or close to it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for checking out episode 74. We appreciate you. Um, I did think, by the way, I think, you know how at the beginning, obviously I say it's episode 74 or whatever. I think I'm going to stop that after a hundred. Okay. But you know, we still got a couple months to where you got to hear me say it. (laughs) But I think uh, getting to 100 episodes would be awesome. Yeah. And then getting to 200 and 300 and 400 and 500. And, and then we're going to be really and on the, the same th- with viewers and yeah. subscribers. And, and then we're really going to be on the front page of Time Magazine. Right. Because we weren't. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a real thing, guys. Please. I mean, like, I love you and I love the support and thank you. And thank you. We had, we had other people that were like, I told, and they were like, oh, well, I could have seen it being real. Like, your your podcast is awesome. And I'm like, I mean, maybe, but, like, 
Right. We're, we have 213 subscribers on YouTube. That's not really Time Magazine worthy. Shoot, don't be putting <laughs> us down. We're going to get there someday. Yeah, we're going to get there, but we are not there now. <laughs> we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for checking out episode 74. Uh, please hit us up on Patreon, patreon.com slash podcast. We have a new bonus series going up uh, this week. It's actually out now by the time you're hearing this episode. Yeah. Um, and you can get that for just five bucks a month. It's a new bonus episode every week. Behind the scenes stuff, early releases, um, you know, exclusive merch, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Um, all through patreon.com slash average AF podcast. As little as two bucks a month, up to fifty bucks a month. There's different perks and things like that. Um, and we have yet to get a fifty dollar subscriber, which is fair, but it's an option on there. It's an option on there. So and it'd be, be our first. It'd be cool to uh to roll into the new year with a fifty. Just throwing that out there. Probably not going to happen, but it'd be dope. Word. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, that's all for us. Episode 74. We appreciate you. Have a good night. Till next week. Peace.